Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, NASA has just admitted, quote, not fully prepared for asteroid collision with Earth. The answer is no, we're not fully prepared for an asteroid collision with Earth. Now, uh, NASA admits that back in 1908, there was a powerful deep impact uh, that uh, literally was in, Nige- in Siberia, in Russia, and that we had another one. And that was, of course, in February of 2013, which did injure over 1,000 people and damaged over 1,500 buildings. But NASA says our ability to shoot down an asteroid, our ability to blow up an asteroid, we're not fully ready. We're not fully prepared for an asteroid collision with Earth. But it is one of the top priorities of NASA. That's not only the... Re- Look, NASA's sending... They're preparing to put uh, somebody on Mars. We know SpaceX is working on it, uh, Elon Musk and others. Mars is a big mission that now everyone's working on. But NASA is continuing to work on the asteroids. Their concern is a deep impact is coming. And they're trying to figure out a way to divert that. And uh, so they are putting a lot of money, a lot of effort. And they're actually going to be studying asteroids. They're going to send probes up into space and try to gather information from the asteroids. What are the chemical makeups? What is all there? Uh, and, And is there any way to inch an asteroid, just slightly shove it somehow with nuclear capabilities uh, and to just get it off the trajectory for those that, that they know of that are coming toward the Earth. Now, just yesterday, we had an asteroid go racing by our heads uh, about three lunar distance away. Uh, Friday, we got two more going to go racing by. The number of near-Earth objects that have been going past the Earth are increasing at an exponential rate, and a deep impact is destined to happen, and we know it. And so what, you know, especially like the asteroid Apophis that will go by the Earth in the year 2029. Now, that thing will come close. It's huge. It's like a mile and a half in diameter. It's just gigantic. It would bring extinction to probably most of the planet. It's not going to hit us in the year 2029, but boy, it's going to be close. But when it comes back in the year 2036, original calculations by NASA said it had a 2.7% chance of even having a direct impact. Certainly, it's going to go razor close. It's bringing a ton of space junk with it, uh, all kinds of meteorites and all kinds of uh, stuff. And so, but they don't, you know, look, this is what I'm saying is that's the ones they're talking about. There's other asteroids that NASA has zeroed in on that they know is heading in this direction. You're not hearing about that. I've got a, below, I'm going to put a link below of a video and it's about a 22-minute video, but it's an interview with three of NASA's top scientists, uh, and they address this Mars missions. They address different uh, types of things, but they also address the asteroid concern. It's quite remarkable, the response by the scientists. If you go to the video, you can jump to that very subject if you want to. It's located at the 1219 mark of the video through 1456. So a little over two minutes, you can hear the question and the response. But he says, we're not fully prepared for an asteroid collision with Earth. Is that why they're building underground bunkers? Is that why they're preparing for what they know is coming? The deep, deep impact. And what about Planet X? Uh, 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 Look, it's very close. Something's shaking the skies. Something's shaking the heavens. Something's pulling on the universe. All of the planets and stars uh, are under a gravitational stress, a gravitational pull. And even the sun is is literally reacting in ways we never thought we'd see, which is affecting our Earth for sure. So Planet X and incoming asteroids. And oh, by the way, we had 36 fireballs that went racing through the sky just last night. 36 of them. Are you serious? So there's no question Uh, something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And I can tell you that the great solar eclipse that's going to take place on August 21st, 
2017 will be something. Uh, it, obviously, it's a prophetic sign in the heavens. It's in your Bible. If you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it tells you that God made these stars in the firmament. He made all these different, the moon and the sun, for such a time as this, for signs and seasons. Matter of fact, here's what it says. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, one verse. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. That's one thing. And let, their, let them be for signs, that's prophetic signs, and for seasons, that's in the Hebrew, divine appointments or feast days, and for days and years. In other words, that's for your calendar. So prophetic signs and seasons is part of the, the reason that uh, we see the things that we're seeing. And that's why Jesus was asked the question, about the sign of his coming, the end of the world. He said it. In, uh, even in Luke 21, he said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity. The sea, the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. Men are gonna die of heart attacks because of what's coming on the earth. And asteroids, Planet X, who's it's shaking everything up. All of these things are leading us to the coming apocalypse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're certainly living, folks. We are living in the last days. Are you saved?